Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 3 of our understanding the ABC of Docker video series. And in this video, we're talking about getting started with Docker. So in this video, we'll be actually doing the installation of Docker and understanding the ecosystems of Docker. Alright, so before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 and 2 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Let's get started. Docker has wide ecosystem and it support multiple operating systems, cloud platforms and even local clouds. So as that said, Docker supports operating systems like Mac, Windows and Linux operating systems out of the box. So I'm saying out of the box and this is because currently Docker for Mac and Docker for Windows is released and it's in beta stage and it actually supports natively within those two operating systems and Linux you don't have to worry about because Docker natively supports Linux so you don't have to really worry about it. So the prior operating systems like Windows 8.1 or 7 is not currently supported out of the box by Docker so you have to have Windows uh, 10 64 bit edition so that's supported out of the box right and the cloud platforms like Digital Oceans, Amazon and Azure so these are supported by Docker and also you can have a local cloud uh, which is also supported by Docker. So these are the different kinds of ecosystem uh, which is supported uh, by Docker. So what are the different tools offered by Docker? So Docker provide native support Docker engine for Mac, Windows and Linux operating system as we discussed in our previous slide. And also it has a Docker hub. So remember in our second video we were discussing about hub.docker.com and the Kitematic. It's exactly the same one. So Docker Hub is the place where all the containers are being provided by different kinds of companies or it can be you as well. So you can publish all your containers out there in the Docker Hub. So if you want to provision or if you want to push your own container into the Docker Hub, you can actually do that and if you create a login for docker hub you can actually push one container which is completely free provided by docker but if you want to have more number of containers to be provisioned in the docker hub then probably you have to purchase that that's where docker make the money because it cannot give everything for free the world is not for free of course right so that's that's the docker hub and then it also has something called docker cloud so Docker provides its own cloud systems where you can store all your private containers out there and then you can use that for your company. So Docker Hub is more like a public and Docker Cloud is something which stores your own containers. And there is something called Docker Compose. Again, Docker Compose is a place where you can mix and match different kinds of containers. You can link and you can perform a different kinds of operation. Uh, that's not completely the scope of this particular course. So Docker Hub, Cloud and Compose are not going to be the scope of this ABC of Docker. Maybe in the third series of this particular Docker course, we will be discussing about some of them. And then there is something called Docker Machine. So this Docker Machine will be deprecated soon, I guess, but is a mandatory component for the older operating system, as I said, for Windows 8.1 or 7, something like that, and Mac OS before version so uh, that's the mandatory component because docker machine is a is a docker tool where it actually has uh, a bootloader operating system and you can do all these different kinds of commands so again don't worry about it uh, a lot but yes just be informed that these are the different kinds of tools being offered by docker docker for windows so we are actually going to talk about docker for windows not for mac or linux and the reason is because I don't have both of these operating systems installed in my machine, but of course I have a Ubuntu operating system in my Hyper-V, but we're not really gonna talk about that. For this particular ABC of Docker, we will be talking about Docker for Windows. So Docker is free, as we already know. It's an open source project and it's free. Hence, you can download the Docker from this link. HTTPS colon double slash download.docker.com slash win slash table slash install docker.msi. So, from here you can download the docker which is right here so you can just go to the docker.com 
and you can just scroll down a little bit you can see there is something called get docker for windows so if you click this you can see that it will automatically take you to that link and it will start downloading the msi file for you i'm just going to cancel this because i already have docker installed in my machine but if you really want to see how the installation is it's way too easy so you don't really have to worry about it if you go to the docker's uh, dock and if you go to the docker for windows you can see that there is a step-by-step -step guide of how to install the uh, docker for windows it's very very simple all you have to do is just uh, double click that hit next 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 and finish and there is a button there showing launch docker uh, if it is selected right that's it and this is going to start the docker for you and it will show you a little uh, prompt saying you can do some kinds of commandy things out there so that's it this is the installation part so it's pretty straightforward so i'm really not going to run through the installation because i have already installed docker in my machine and the prerequisite for docker in windows so as i already said docker requires windows 10 pro 64-bit edition with the latest update meaning you should have a latest november update of 1511 something i don't know but if you have that particular latest update installed in your machine you are pretty much ready to go and also anniversary update for windows 10 is coming by august 2nd so the day i'm recording is august uh, is uh, july 31st so i'm just waiting for two more days and i'm pretty excited to get the windows anniversary update so if that is available then probably you know what you will have a bash out of the box in windows 10 itself and we can do a lot of crazy thing out there all right so that's a uh, completely side notes but yes if you have the latest windows 10 pro 64-bit edition you're very good to go with the docker for windows uh, natively supporting there right and then docker for windows requires microsoft hyper v to run in your machine so ensure that you also have a hyper v enabled uh, in your machine so if you install windows 10 pro this hyper v will automatically be enabled into your machine if not hyper v will be enabled using the add and remove features and after the hyper v is enabled virtualbox will no longer work but any virtualbox vm images will still remain so if you are a kind of virtualbox guy or a vmware guy then probably you will be in trouble because if the hyper v is enabled then these two softwares will never work but your images that you created will still work you can also transfer those images to your Hyper-V. So Microsoft is kind of rude in this case. Maybe they just change and, uh, change soon. So yes, you need to have uh, these two stuffs uh, available within your machine. So you can uh, install the Docker then and perform the operation. Since, as I already said, the Docker installation is pretty straightforward. I'm really not going to install, but you are going to install this so that you can follow up the next video of this course. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.